Once it wears on, if they're feeling fatigue, it may affect the way they play, Ron. We'll keep an eye. First down from the 15. Miner hit at the line of scrimmage. Bonnie Holiday, number 90, one of the first men along with Pringley, there to make the stop for Carolina. Shotgun formation, first pass of the night. Will it be? Yes. Throws it into the turf. Incomplete because of the pressure by Keith Newman. And quickly, this is what the defense looks like. Greg Ellis at left defensive end, named one of the four finalists for the Lombardi Award tonight. Holiday and Davis have got to get pressure up the middle. Linebacking core, Newman, Mays, and Simmons, maybe the best in the country as a tandem. And Williams and Bly, the two corners, they will bump and run with Florida State all night long. That's a key. Third down. Line to make is out at the 25. They go with the running play. Davis is there to stuff it up. And this crowd has gone absolutely berserk on three and out by the defense. Ron, a good series by North Carolina's defense. Carolina brings Simmons up as if he may blitz. Brooks. Oh! That was a fumble, too. Newman, did he get it? Newman made the hit and almost made the scoop. I believe they're going to say he's down. That's one of those where Seinfeld goes, oh, Newman. Newman. Carolina lined up in the bare front right here. Here's Simmons. Here's Newman coming around the outside right here. Not a good matchup. Got a back block him, Charles Kirby, and he runs over Kirby and then runs over Brooks. And if a corner goes down, bumping and running, and somebody's running free like Saunders was a bit ago, it can be like that, although they missed the pass. Johnson throws. And another terrific pick up. That time it was Sean Foreman who had the ball separated from his hands by cornerback Robert Williams, who's having a tremendous day. They're staying away from the All-American, Ray Bly. Again, uh, he's soft in coverage at the outset, but watch the reaction. Boy, it just stays right with him. Look, look at it. John Dockery's got to appreciate this kind of performance, being an ex-defensive back out of the NFL. Third down and 16. There's a sack, a fumble. It is recovered in the end zone for a touchdown for Carolina. And the Tar Heels just keep adding up the scoring machine. Greg Ellis recovers the fumble with the touchdown. Uh, we talked to him yesterday. He said he loves the swim move. Well, right now, the Carolina is swimming all over Virginia Tech. Here's Ellis over here, but you're going to see everybody right there on Al Clark. You come right up. Man, it came right through there. It was uh, Simmons, Simmons. Who, who knocked the ball away, and Ellis with the recovery. Here's Ellis. He's standing up on the outside. And occupying the offensive tackle almost looked like a zone blitz, but Brian Simmons on the blitz, and Ellis makes the recovery for the score. Two defensive touchdowns now for North Carolina, and Beamer's thinking, oh, man, I'm going to the wing tee next year. And, you know, he never saw Brian Simmons at all. He was locked into his receiver, and he never saw Simmons in his drive. And another big hit. Oh, yeah, it's Dre Ding. Dre Bly hit Joe Woods real hard. And, and Mac he, doesn't like it either. He wants discipline out of his players. He's letting them know, you jumped up, you, you celebrated, and I'm on the rules committee, and I'll tell you what, they're going to flag you for that. Let's have a listen to that last hit by Dre Bly. <laughs> Third and 12 for David Green. Carolina showing blitzes. Rasheed goes in motion. They drop back. They've got a screen set up for Hunter to tight end. And it's handled 
wonderfully by Brian Simmons for a loss. Brian Simmons, the junior out of New Bern, North Carolina, one of the best outside linebackers in the country. Tackle by North Carolina. Well, that young man is so active to the football, but looks like Friedman does 74 watching. Now, you're delayed. As an offensive lineman, you're thinking in your mind, wait, 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 and then go, but sometimes you don't go. First and 10 at the 33. How good play action. Under pressure. Really under pressure. Down he goes at the 42nd sack of the afternoon. Bonnie Holiday was there along with K. Mays. And a loss of six. Boy, great coverage, though, in the secondary. They only had one receiver that he's really looking for. It's down the right sideline. Now, the safety comes over and causes some problems, and Hamilton sees that, so that's a good read. But by the time he pulls it back down, you've got all these guys all over him, and he has nowhere to go. Busby operating from the shotgun. Under pressure, goes deep left side almost. Yes! And intercepted by the Tar Heels off the ricochet. That man again, Dre Bly. The one thing he is, is always around the football. That's two more interceptions today. Three for number 31 last week. For some reason, North Carolina has changed up the last two snaps and gone to zone coverage. And, and they read the coverage and they go to the corner pattern in trying to get in behind this corner, rolled up corner to safety, and it's battered right over to Black. And uh, this guy is always at the right place. Take a look at the end of it at the top of your screen. <laughs> Five interceptions in the last two games. Six total. This time he doesn't fumble it back. And Newman just kept on pressuring right into him that time. Ken Oxendine had rushed for 904 yards on the season. That's a 98-yard average. Has been held at just two yards thus far in the ballgame. Takes and then is swarmed under at the six-yard line. George Welsh on the sidelines. Barber in motion on first and ten. They give it to the fullback, and he is rocked. Daryl Medley got rocked by Rick Terry, number 94. The sack leader last year for the Tar Heel defense. Third down comes up for West Virginia. Down by seven. Mountaineers need four. They go to zero way, and he gets stuck. Oh, do you see the numbers last year? Third down conversions, only one of 12 in this ballgame. Tonight, they're one of two. Busby sets, good protection, throws it over the middle. It is intercepted by North Carolina. That's Omar Brown. There's a couple different ways you can play it in the secondary. Now, this is a two-deep look with Omar Brown sitting back, waiting on the two receivers to come down the field, being jammed by the corners. Omar Brown with a big interception. 3.52 to play in the third quarter. Horn. All wound up and nowhere to go. Tony Horn brought down, ran about 60 yards, and I think he got back to the line of scrimmage. Mike Kringley, number 91, making the tackle. No gain on the play. Yeah, there was no gain on the play. Third down, 12 to go. Four wideouts for the Tigers. Green, is it a fumble? Yes, it is. Still alive. And the Tar Heels have the pill. They think so, and so do the officials. Another Clemson turnover. Greg Ellis on the recovery, number 87. I didn't see you got in there. Number 70, Andre Purvis, put the pressure on the quarterback. Andre Purvis, number 70. Neil on looking to his right. Does the ball come out? No, it does not. It slips out of his hand first. Purvis with the great play, and Ellis with the speed to be able to get on the football. Both wide receivers split to the right. They'll go the other way with a run. Omak ran into some serious traffic there. K. Mays and Bonnie Holiday met them head on. They operate out of the eye now. Daniels goes in motion on second and 28. And this is where it's been dangerous, but Hamilton's going to run this time. 
Not very far, though. Dropped after a gain of about one. Rick Terry oh. had him wrapped up first, and then he got popped. Oh, what a pop by James Hamilton, too. I mean, he just pancaked him. He was ready. He was fresh. He took the majority of the snaps down here. Blitz. Second nine blitz. Spins out a little. I think it's Russell Davis, 96, who gets him. It, it's a good job at, at the outset of setting up and protecting the quarterback, but then when he goes to run, watch 96 peel out of there. Bam, right between the one and the four. Mm. Really put him on the ground. Look, look at his head snap. As Tiki Barber, the heir apparent. First down and 10, two tight end formation. Sherman going up top for Crowell, and he has him, but it's batted away at the last moment. Number 29, Robert Williams, leads the team in pass breakups. Illustration Exhibit A. Yeah, that is his 17th pass broken up this year. It's a record for this football team. They have one corner who intercepts him. That's Dre Bly, and then Robert Williams, with good recovery speed, he stays close, he stays near, he positions his feet exceptionally well. Rico Owens goes in motion. Green goes back to pass. Going deep downfield, Corey Thomas broken up again by Robert Williams. This is fun. Saved a touchdown before the field goal, and Williams might have done it again on that effort. This is fun. Kind of feel like you're watching Jerry Rice and Deion Sanders. I mean, two great athletes to go up. See, that's that's all that's there. Williams with the great recovery. West Virginia is still without points against the toughest team in the college football to score points on. North Carolina, number one in America, averaging just 10 points a game allowed. When you're under pressure all afternoon, though, you have a tendency to look up before that ball gets there. You know they're going to be in the backfield, and there they are again. That defensive front has been terrific for the Heels this afternoon. Masson is out for the right. On the short side. Here they come. Good protection. Down he's going. Fumble! Newman's got it for the Tar Heels at midfield. Initially had fine protection, credit the secondary. They took away the throw downfield. He had no place to go with the ball. That was Greg Ellis again coming in, applying the pressure on the quarterback. Watch number 87 get in on him, and then nine with the recovery. See, he has time. Look at that. One, two, three. See, he had plenty of time, and Ellis came around 87 and knocked it out, as you said, Brent. Credit the secondary with excellent coverage. Little uh, people coming across the formation, what they need to do is throw the ball outside and say, my guy's as good as yours, let me throw it. Uh-oh. Ellis this time nails him. He got the pass to Jones, and Jones is buried at about the line of scrimmage. Ellis's eyes probably were his biggest saucers that time. Yep. He's finally going to get a chance to get a sack and a screen on the play. Far heels. Well, it's time to get busy. They trail 17 0. Green rolls out, completes the pass. But Tony Horn is probably wishing. He may have dropped it. Busby has missed his last five passes. Second and ten. Here's the running play. Miner looks for a block. Great job defensively. He'll be strung out and dropped for a one-yard loss. It's Greg Ellis and Ebenezer Ecubon on the stop. He closed the shoulder. He's much more accurate to the right. He told me he worked on that all week long after that Clemson game. Second down and eight. This time throwing to his left. And Cole got rocked. Ooh. He got hit by Dre Bly. And it's surprising that Crowell got up. He's on his feet. Well, that's a big hit. Dre Bly came off his coverage and helped out. Light years for this Clemson offense. Line up in that eye formation again. The fullback is stood up at the 39-yard line. Austin hit by Keith Newman out of Tampa, Florida. Third and Fleming and Thomas go left for the tight end on the right side. And Montgomery in motion to the right. Blitz is on and Green will go down. Greg Ellis 
And Russell Davis, along with Brian Simmons, drop David Green back at the 30-yard line, and Duke will have to punt away the ball. And that drive was all Davis all of the time. First down comes up. First down and five with the five-yard mark off. Long ball at Saunders, and it's picked off. Dre Bly, the consensus All-American freshman cornerback, 11 in the regular season, one today. John Dockery referred to it as like hitting the 400 in baseball to get 11 picks in a college season. I didn't think he was going to be able to make the catch, but again, up pressing the receiver, pushes him to the sideline. Uh, you mentioned his hands. Boy, he jumps higher than Saunders. One foot in, boy, catches it beautifully. He set the school record that had been held by Shaquille O'Neal. Wow. Here's the throw and a pick. That's Dre Bly on the run. The All-American freshman with his second pick off of the game. And that stopped the Mountaineers cold in the 22-yard return follows. Are you sure there's only one of them out there? That's right. There's a couple of 31s. Receiver goes in motion. Bly all over him. Well, again, beautifully caught. I mean, the ball just nestles in his hands like it's always been there. How successful can the Yellow Jackets be is the question. Williams and Wiley in the backfield on second and six. Middleton in motion. Straight drop. Over the middle, and he's popped. Middleton had it, but Omar Brown, we told you he could hit. Wow. It'll make you think about coming over the middle the next time. This is why we highlighted Brown. It's not only making the calls, but he's known throughout the league as a big hitter. This is what you dream of as a secondary guy. Middleton, look at his head, looking back at the quarterback, never sees Brown sitting there with his tail tucked. Need to be a little more aggressive in taking on that lead blocker. Now two yards for their opening first down. They're not going to get it this time. He was aggressive. I mean, he came right across there and took his man on. Brian Simmons looking good on that one. I really like the play of Andre Purvis, number 70. Really did a nice job. You'll see him from the left side of your screen. He knocks people back right there in the hole, forces the ball to delay right there, and then comes Simmons, 41, to make the play. Nice job by Andre Purvis. For Clemson on third down and nine. 2.35 to play. They throw it back on the flanker screen. Complete to Crooks. But he's way short of the first down. Tito Simpson making the tackle. Carolina blitzing. It's Barber running it, and he won't get the first down. Actually, he's tackled for a loss back at the 28-yard line. Dre Bly, number 31, made the stop. That is only the second first down in the ball game for Virginia Tech. Man. The handoff is going to yield a yard for Marcus Parker. K. Mays was there. Marcus Parker on the carry. Gavayu Suma. Swahili's first name, meaning child of mine. But everybody calls him K. Yeah, I, I'm I thought I'd take one crack at it, and that's it. I, I'm not sure that it doesn't translate big stud. Now they'll run it. Wilkes will not get it. Gavayu Suma Mays said, how do you do up top? with Bonnie Holiday on the bottom and that great Carolina defense stuffs Duke again. And there's nobody to blame that. No, you know, no sense of pointing the finger. If I could have one thing, I'd say try it right. I mean, you're 0 for 3 now going left. See, I don't go with Ellis. I don't go with any of those guys up there. If you got a player out in Fringley who is out of the ball game today, I'd try Mr. Davis under pressure. He's on the butt kiss list. All three of them. The preseason buckets list for the top linebacker in the country. Hamilton under pressure, and down he goes at the 41-yard line. Greg Ellis, the junior out of Wendell, North Carolina. A loss of 11.
from the 42-yard line. Busby again for the shotgun. Sets deep in the pocket. Going to go out in the flat throws. It completes. Simmons is right there defensively, and he will just eat up Travis Miner. Now, here's one of the areas, Mike, that you talked about, the speed of the linebackers and Miner having trouble outrunning Simpson. Simmons. They, they have excellent speed at the linebackers, and when you look at the, what it looks like, they're taking a linebacker and putting him on Travis Miner on every pass play. At 55 degrees. 55%, check that. <laughs> oh, and it's picked off. Simmons. Comes back for Carolina, bringing it down to the Clemson 21. Right, Simmons does a great job dropping back in his zone. It's a slant in pattern that Green is trying to fit right in there to his left now Simmons goes to his drop and he takes that ball away excellent job by Simmons now watch those two middle linebackers as they cheat up to the line of scrimmage and there they go Sanders. Chad Johnson swept under by Keith Newman one of the fast linebackers, also at number nine, and he was there before Johnson could even look downfield. Yeah, North Carolina just outnumbered him. Here's nine right here. Nobody lays a glove on him. The guard tries to come out all the way from the guard spot. Mike Horn. Carolina faithful coming to life for the defense. Second and 26. They'll run it. Jones nailed at the line of scrimmage. Greg Ellis said hello. And now it's third down in the mile. Virginia has a drive going, but it's in the wrong direction right now. Wayne Messam is the slot receiver toward the top. Time for Barkley. Goes in zone. Incomplete as it fell away from Peter Warwick. Ray Bly, number 31, defending that pass at the end zone. Play fake. Bly, and Bly knocks it away out of bounds. See, I, I don't remember. It's the second time now I've seen it in this ballgame. I don't remember Florida State using I play action passing on third and long. I just don't remember that philosophical approach to attacking a defense before. They used the play action on there. Everybody knows you can throw the ball on. Clark has completed 9 of 16. 3 of 5 for 30 yards on this drive. Ball is loose. As Clark is sacked, Carolina has the ball. Bonnie Holland. Holland has the recovery, the pressure by Mike Pringley, number 91. And again, you know, North Carolina gives you a little bit. Then it looks like when they want to turn it up, they can. Watch 91. Again, he gets through two blockers. And right in Al Clark's face. And Bonnie Holiday with the fumble recovery. So Carolina takes over now with 13 seconds. They want a timeout. After the loss of six, it is now second and 16 at the 39. They almost lost the first time. There's enough time to cause C.J. Williams to go down, courtesy of Bonnie Holiday. Two huge plays in a row by Holiday. They haven't converted a third down yet today. The toss, Sanders cut off, cuts back. Great defense that time by number 31, Dre Bly. Their great corner came up and read that play perfectly. They're going to be forced to run more option today, but you don't really want to run an option in short yardage like that against athletes like Dre Bly and Brian Simmons. Both of them on the left side of the screen are going to come up here. Simmons takes away the quarterback, and then there's the pitch. Right there is Bly, and right there is Simmons. Ron, here's Harrell right here, and then matchup that they like. Let's see if they go back to him against Reggie Love. Blitz from the outside. Florida State picks it up, and that's where they go. But they got the one-on-one -on -one coverage, and it's knocked away by Love. Excellent play by Reggie Love. He's going to need oxygen at halftime, but a nice play on that throw to Damian Harrell. Damian Harrell alternating with Lavernius Coles, just trying to go downtown to beat Reggie Love. 
Able to deflect the ball. Big stop for North Carolina. Three wide receivers and an eye set. Out of an unusual formation with 61 ticks left back at your own 44. No one to go to. You got two backs in. Somebody's got to block Ronnie Holiday. It's the third sack of Chad Johnston. John, just before the snap, Carolina had 10 players at the line of scrimmage. They had a free safety 18 yards deep, and all the other 10 were up there. It's just a four-man rush. And he gets right around to Mike Horn, the offensive tackle for the sack. Oh, here go again. And again, Chad Johnson goes down. So the sack count goes from three to four very quickly. Rick Terry, a very powerful defensive tackle, just overruns the blockers, and Brian Simmons, the best linebacker and one of the fastest backers in the country, is there with him. And yeah, remember, John Nealon told us we've made adjustments in our pass protection because of this Carolina defense. Well, it hasn't worked. Keep fine-tuning. You're not keeping them out. They go to the draw on third down, and they get nothing. So Carolina has a lot to celebrate as the West Virginia Mountaineers walk off the field, and Carolina trotting off. A spirited jog as through the first half of play, North Carolina played great football and built a 17-3 lead. On the flanker screen, incomplete, and it's picked off. Brian Simmons, he returned one for a touchdown last week, and you know what? This week, he didn't quite get there. 84 yards last week against Louisville in the fourth quarter. Man, twice in a row, he almost gets into the end zone on an interception. Aaron Brooks, the quarterback, ran him down. A touchdown saving tackle by the quarterback. You know, they're trying to get the ball to Terrence Wilkins again. He's going to break inside here. Remember the screen we saw earlier in this football game? The ball gets tipped a little bit. He tries to come up with a difficult catch. And I don't know how Brian Simmons <laughs> caught that football. That thing just stuck in his right arm. The ball found him more than he found it. It sure did. <laughs> First down, Virginia at its own 24. Well, they fumbled Fumble, it snap. And it's scooped up by North Carolina. It's Newman. Keith Newman. the Cavaliers sideline. Keith Newman, number nine, is the linebacker. North Carolina shifted out of one front. He's right there. The ball gets snapped, and as Brooks tries to go for it, it gets kicked forward. It's like, hey, thank you very much. Turns outside, he's got Dre Bly this time as a blocker, but he's caught behind this time by Brian Owen. Wow. Was the injured player on that last play. Sherman fires and it's picked off. It's Dre's day. Dre Bly takes it to the house. That's number 11 interception. It's a zone technique. He's going to play an outside technique one on one. With Brian Owen here. See, he's got inside. Now watch him watch the quarterback and he plants and he drives on that football. Owen's got to come back to the football more than he did. Dre Bly beat him to the interception point. Takes it in for the touch. That's a huge score for the Tar Heels. Dre Bly was telling us at practice yesterday how. First down at the 22. Virginia only had 10 men on the field. Brooks trying to throw a screen. It's picked up by Bly. It's a touchdown. Intercepted a shovel pass, one of his 13 on the year. This one, as he did against Virginia last year, a touchdown on the interception. Now watch the pressure that Brooks gets from Newman. Right in his face, tries to throw the ball outside to Brian Owen. The ball is thrown behind, and maybe the guy with the best hands on the field, the best athlete on the field, Dre Bly, comes up with it. 14 points in, what, 17 seconds? Oof. Holiday, he's another werewolf. He'll pack it for Carolina. Good. 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 
on the three. On the option. No place for Wilkes to go as he is dropped in the backfield by Greg Ellis. This seven. I mean, there's seven uh, What's it carry? defenders over there. You look at the Carolina blue. That's a swarm of Carolina blue. And you're not going to outrun them. They just get off the ball too well for that. And if I go that way, I don't go with Ellis. I'm going to option away from 87 because this guy gets off the block, is a factor, and still makes the tackle. Second down and 10. Nice outside in move by Lamont Pugis, but he's not going to net him any yardage. Did you see the? It was caught Lamont from the backside. Brandon Spoon, number 44, comes all the way from the backside. What's a linebacker at 6'3", 235? Yeah, watch him come from the backside again. It, it's rare to find this many players on one team that have size and speed. You hesitate for a moment, they'll catch you from the backside. You run right at them, they just beat you right in the mouth. And they will be ripe with confidence should they hold on today. This is Priestman trying the right side, finding no room. Second down and a long count this time. Williams, not going anywhere. Mike Klingler met him as soon as he took the handoff from Hamilton. The slot man is green. Andre Cooper down toward the bottom of your screen is the split in. They'll run done left side. Great stop that time by number 41, Brian Simmons, who's back on the field, obviously. He's not as heralded as Mays, and maybe not even as Hamilton, who's not playing right now. But he may be the most gifted athlete of the group. As they start from the 46-yard line. And off Jones is hit immediately. <laughs> Nine, actually eight. North Carolina players are on top of Jones on that play. Now, the other two corners, they don't do anything but cover their man, so they're not going to ever be on one of those tackles. So that means one player that time was not in on the hit. From the shotgun. Pass is complete, but that is it. Angelo Harrison is nailed. Whoa. They're going to count that as a catch at the 39 yard line. But it certainly looked like the ball bounced loose. Omar Brown makes the hit, but you see the double setup they have of the receivers. Now watch the hit. Second foot down. Third and a long seven here. Almost eight. Hamilton straight drop. Now wants to run. Not going to happen. Drop at the 11 yard line, so the heels will get the football back after the upcoming punt. Carolina loading up defensively again. Now they back off Hamilton to throw. Maybe. Maybe not. Down he goes again. Third sack of the afternoon. And he's been pressured all day long, this time by Bonnie Holiday. Split Williams to the top of your screen. And Rogers the one back on second and 11. Straight drop. Flags down, so is Hamilton. They've bothered him all afternoon. Pringley was there first. This will be holding against Georgia Tech. O'Leary is just beside himself. He is so frustrated right now. I'm telling you what. And the other guy that's frustrated is Hamilton. I mean, every time he looks up, there's a blue jersey coming at him from some side or another. And as much as he tries to stay loose and stay... Big third down and six coming up here from the 39. Straight drop for Hamilton. And they drop him. The fourth sack of the afternoon. Tito Simpson got him around the eggs. Legs and uh, Russell Davis got him up top since 1966, two weeks ago at Syracuse. Started the season unranked and now should move into the top ten. Shaw goes down in the backfield. Rick Terry with the sack. Third and long for David Green. Opal Lennox, the guy who goes in motion. Green looking downfield, but he's going to go down instead. James Hamilton and Brandon Spoon 
Spoon, the freshman, and Hamilton, the senior, combined to drop green again. Well, the thing now is that Duke has got to, they got to hurry up their pass set. You got to get it back and get it, you got to get it go. Let it go. Second down and seven to go. Gain of three by Smith. Little play action now. Green almost picked off and broken up nicely by Dre Bly. Number 31 on the corner. One good thing Carolina has is a lot of very good athletes up front who can exert a lot of pressure. Greg Ellis, 87, coming off the corner. Jason Neal on green, and they want to knock him down every chance they get today. That Saunders at the top. He has been almost unstoppable. Way over 100 yards receiving. Here's Johnston. He's looking at him. Long ball to David Saunders. Incomplete. Omar Brown almost had a pick. Got to try to get the ball into Tony Horn's hands, number seven. Green looks for the slot man, covered down, fires high, deflected on a ricochet, picked off. Dre Bly with the ricochet interception for the Tar Heels and the big play, the first turnover by Clemson, and they're claiming that there's a face mask against Clemson. So hold on here now. This penalty may bail the Tigers out. While the pass was in flight, grasping the face mask on the defense, five yards previous spot, still third down. Third down and nine for the Tigers. Green fires high, deflected incomplete. And he picked it off. He got that one again on the ricochet. And it's Reggie Love this time. As again, Green is trying to force the ball down the middle to number seven, Tony Horn. Omar Brown with his hands on the ball. Reggie Love with the dive, and Carolina gets the ball back. Back to back, and this time it counts for the Tar Heels. Got to come up with some good ones, Rick. Won't be invited over to Pops. Runs all that screen. Pick up and read perfectly, but. Preston slips the first tackle and down in a hurry at the 34-yard line. Ryan Simmons rolling in there again. Not only is this a talented Carolina defense, but they're not being fooled. And that's a five-yard loss as a result of that. They're trying a screen pass. You know, you'll see the offensive lineman will start to move, but the defensive lineman read the screen as well. And Bonnie Holiday, number 90, moves inside out in the play. He shakes it up, and here comes Simmons, 41, to make the play. Good. Sean Scales is someone you, you root for. And he's a special young man. Here's a little swing to the right side. Not going to do anything. Ken Oxendine on the receiving end. Dre Bly moved up defensive cornerback and was right on it. Yeah. There are times when you watch North Carolina where it looks like they have 15 guys. You know? I mean, this is a double screen. It's set up both sides. Dre Bly right there to make the tackle. Wilkes the setback. Green to pass. Gets it off quickly to Wilkes, but he'll go down in the backfield. Great upfield penetration by Keith Newman, the sophomore outside linebacker. On first and ten, Smith and Priester out of the eye. The option package. Green keeps it himself and gained maybe a yard. Tackled by Andre Purvis and Greg Ellis. Crowell matched up with Bly at the top of your screen. At some point, will they go to him? They're going to keep it on the ground for now. Jones bounces off. Paid a double price there to get back to the line of scrimmage. Took about three hits. Busby hands the running play. Minor hit from behind. And that's Mays who will come across to make the tackle on him. K. Mays. LSU uh, going to find a lot of people in the SEC waiting for revenge this year. Had a great year under Denardo last year. Hamilton under the gun. Goes behind his man and it's picked off. Dre Bly with the interception up the far sideline inside the 10 and knocked out at the five-yard line. His second interception of the year and he almost took it all the way back.
bad decision by a young quarterback. You've got to live through these. You've got to let him mature. He bought time, felt like he could force the pass in there, and he just couldn't do it. He had pressure right from the get-go. He feels it coming, steps up beyond it, but watch. Now he says, hey, I've got to get this thing in there. Tries to force it where there is no room. He goes down, and Bly makes the pick. Look at the coverage here. There's no way he's going to get this in. There's nobody open. He thinks by running up, the coverage is going to let down. Maybe had he thrown more to the inside, he had a better chance, but Bly had him sitting on his right hip, made the pick, and takes it all the way back down inside the 10-yard line, and not a sack, but a big play in the backfield. Third and 16, Hamilton's got to throw now. The jump pass, he put it up to grabs, and Bly with the interception. Dre Bly, all he had to do was leap and catch that one. An ill-advised pass from Joel Hamilton, who was under pressure again. Third and a whole bunch, 27. This is where Hamilton's gotten in trouble all afternoon, and here they come. Rushed out of the pocket, throws back across, and this one's picked off. Dre Bly with his third. And now he drops it. The Eagles get it back at the 40-yard line, the third of the afternoon, and that's another ball that should have been caught. And they've all been third and long. Third and long that time, he threw an interception, third and 22. Third and 16, he threw an interception. It's always the same thing. It's a passing down. The defense knows it's a passing down, and Hamilton has not thrown a good pass. Now, this one was well thrown, and it should have been caught. CJ can't hang on to it, and this is just a tip drill. And Dre Bly brings it. Watch this, though. Bly starts to run, falls wet, he just drops it. <laughs> All of a sudden, there's Robert Williams says, hey, I've got a shot at this thing, and he picks it up. Not a bad afternoon for Dre Bly, though. And this is one of the best Oxendine, in college football. Oxendine back in the lineup for Virginia Tech. He's the ball carrier, and he'll lose a yard. That's Bonnie Holiday on the tackle. Holiday, a senior from Camden, South Carolina, a top NFL prospect. Yeah, Charlie, one of the secrets of playing great defense is getting off the blocks. Uh, you see Holiday right on the nose, and there, he, watch him. He takes the hit. He's double teamed. He, he gets through the double team, and he is right there to make the tackle. Averaging just over two touchdowns a game, scoring. Green, and the quick slant doesn't even have time for anything quick. Bonnie Holiday, no, Andre Purvis, and Brian Simmons on the sack. Second sack of the year for Mr. Purvis. And Brian Simmons, a piece of it as well. See, they just jump over him. You, you know, Melita goes and tries to cut him, and the good ones, they don't, you don't cut them. They jump over him. He's got him by the trousers. Couldn't break free from number 94, Rick Terry from Lexington, North Carolina. He's going to pull his shorts right off him. He's really strong. He was the most outstanding off-season training guy and got that award. He grabbed it by one hand and, but, and just pulled it down. Taking a nice look here. It's a draw play. It's going to break to the left side of your screen. He comes up inside. There's 94. Reach in there. Grab it right by the back of the pants. Don't look, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it's... <laughs> Johnson throws, Vanderpool's there, it's almost picked off. Robert Williams, the other cornerback for North Carolina, went high and had his hands on the ball, couldn't come down with it. Play action fake by West Virginia, did an excellent job of holding all the linebackers up at the line of scrimmage. This is almost a catch, but yeah, Williams does not get a great deal of attention, but he played last year as a true freshman. He's in the backfield with Austin. Play fake. And Green's in trouble. Going down at the 34 in the arms of Greg Ellis, number 87. First sack of the day for North Carolina, seventh on the year for Greg Ellis. And he was not going to let Green pull away from him. Bottom of the screen is Ellis. He gets right around Holland Postel. And now it's just this. Why, this is why they call it a sack. Sherman's a pass, going up top for Owen, and it's knocked away. 
Dre Bly says, not in my house, not in my territory. Number 31 leads the nation with 10 picks at one today. You know, and here's the bump and run defense. See, Dre Bly, he's right in there. Owen tries to get a little move on him, but he got the bump and he starts looking for the football. He identifies where the ball is, closes toward the sideline. That's great recovery speed by the cornerback. That's what all great corners have. And, that, and look at those numbers. Thanks a lot, Dean. 288 total yards to 83 for Clemson. Green under heavy pressure. Running like a fugitive right now. Green run out of bounds at the 18-yard line by James Hamilton. David Green play action in trouble and gets it off to nobody. Boy, is he lucky. <laughs> and lucky. <laughs> now flag down at the end of the play, and I think they're going to call intentional grounding. They do. Terry McCauley threw the flag at the 34-yard line. Brian Simmons was bearing down on David Green. Intentional grounding on the offense. Five yards, spot of the foul, loss of down. Those well, are great movies. Yeah, they're funny. They are funny. So second and 13 for Tech. Hamilton on the roll near side. Tucks it under. Can't get outside, though. Brought down at the 48, the original line of scrimmage, and they ran him down. James Hamilton showing some speed outside. Showing disrespect for the other Hamilton. Hamilton Boy, that on Hamilton. Vicious. Of course, there's a size difference. I mean, James Hamilton, 6'5", 240 pounds. Joe Hamilton's only 5'10", 189. Watch this now. All right, so he, by that little pump fake, he gets around the corner, but now here comes the pursuit. Watch, he gets clothesline. Balls at midfield. First down. and coming in motion. Well, he's sitting bottom of the screen. Seven catches are ready for Saunders, but now in second down and 14, they go to the run. Zeroway going to be rolled down before the, he lost the ball. <laughs> West Virginia. Oh, they're going to roll the combo now. They've turned it over. A delayed call, but it goes to the Tar Heels. And Virginia Tech let five yards get away. A quick snap, they could have gotten the five yards. But Carolina had too many men on the field. And the sack at the 29-yard line. Good parallel. Pitchback goes to Miner. This time got away from his blockers, and Brian Simmons just ate him up. And that will be a lesson that he will log very well as he ran away from his blocker. 3.29 left third quarter. Brooks waiting in the pocket. Now has to scramble out. And down he goes. Brandon Spoon after the pressure from K. Mays. And Ebenezer Ekuban. Ekuban is really the guy that chased him out of the pocket. But Brooks that time has to have a mental clock in his head. He knows he's facing the best pass rush in college football, probably Florida State, North Carolina. Pretty good protection. Feels the pressure. Has to get rid of the ball. And you're down 45 nothing. because, hey, coach, you know, what do you want me to do? I think he's got it figured out. Didn't figure out that play. Sacked back at the 45-yard line. The front seven of the Tar Heels putting the beat down on the quarterback. You know, we had to wonder, Carl Torbush is the defensive coordinator, and he told us about these guys. And, you know, you walked away hearing about six guys that had pro potential up front, and I think you and I scratched our heads and said, you know, are we, are we getting the story here or not as you see the great penetration on that play? And They're down. They need two, the, the Mountaineers. They're 0 for 3 on third down conversions. They go to the run. They don't get it. They went to the fullback, Leroy White, and all 235 pounds of White turning as hard as he could go was not enough to crack the defense for three yards. Watch Brian Simmons, number 41. And probably the leader of this defense. Great lateral move, was not fooled at all by any of the fakes. They did have one 11-play sequence that resulted in a field goal. That's the longest they've held the ball against this defense. The toss to Priester. Fumble! 
Chittick was right there on top of it. The second Clemson turnover of the game. A wonderful defensive performance. Robert Williams, Brent, got his right shoulder right on the ball, popped it loose up into the air where Nate Hopgood Chittick comes up with the uh, fumble recovery. And this will just about do it for Clemson. Roll at 6-4. It's second down and 10 for the Cavaliers. Barber trying to bounce it outside, and he fumbles it. Carolina got the ball. North Carolina will have possession at Virginia's 30-yard line. Bonnie Holiday made the hit, and number 94, Rick Terry, made the fumble recovery. I think this is what happened. It's Tre Watch Trevor Burton right here. He gets knocked in to Tiki Barber as he runs this play. The pulling guard comes around. Now he gets pushed into Tiki, and that's what dislodges the football. At least that disrupts him a little bit, and then the and then the ball comes out. So that pressure by the defense it looks like Bonnie Holiday is actually who knocked it out. But surprisingly, they need all five of his touchdowns. Breaking free, the ball is loose, and North Carolina's got it. It's Keith Newman again. I think Brian Simmons knocked it away, and Newman ended up with it. Antoine Womack, the young freshman, made his first mistake. He's been special all day long, but that one had it stripped from him. You see Simmons come from the left side of the screen, pops his arm, and the All-American makes a play, and Newman's in the right spot again. Hey, John, I guess uh, they don't seem to miss Greg Davis yet. The no. offensive coordinator here this year at North Carolina. Green going up top, and he's picked off. Picked off by Greg Williams. The fourth turnover today for Clemson. Greg Williams playing in a backup role here today. He's a nickelback. And again, you know, he just was able to drive on that football. Makes a great play. Turn it around and locating the football. 38-0. We'll be right back. He always remembers a quote by Marino on playing quarterback. He says, believe only what you see when you're reading defenses, not what you think might happen. And he knows that Saunders is wide open on these patterns. Since Joe Hamilton was about six years old, here comes Rogers, away from one tackler, still up, and finally goes down. Look, Mike Pringley got him, but uh, he bounced off a couple of guys before he went down to the ground. First and ten, Tiki Barber. It's been that type of afternoon. They show blitz, here they come, and down goes David Green in the arms of James Hamilton. Yeah, if you're going to win the ACC, you got to beat the best, and the Seminoles have been the best. Chad Brown. Bought some time, but not a lot, as Greg Ellis got him. Ellis now with 13 and a half sacks, the defensive end number 87 for North Carolina. And they are just outmanned. Third down and 15. Flag is down. Clark is down. Zone blitz. A defensive lineman dropping out right in the middle of, uh, of the passing lanes, Charlie. Russell Davis was right in the middle of everything. Absolutely. Came in, the top receiver with nine catches and averaging over 16 through two games, but only two catches for him today. Brooks in trouble, down he goes. Vonnie Holiday on a Saturday. To him, every day is a holiday. The North Carolina defense is distorting the pass routes for Virginia, the bump and run. Brooks comes back, there's no one to throw to. He has to turn it down. Holiday beats his man cleanly. Five-step drop, you can take a three-step drop. There's no one to throw to, and that's really what the bump and run does to you. Inexperienced by running that last one. Brandon Streeter from Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Could be the last play of the game. Fires in zone high, intercepted, that's it. That'll do it, play blind. The outstanding defense.
defensive back for North Carolina with 32 seconds on the ricochet interception of the end zone. How about this for a two-week span, Mr. Fouts? A week ago, we get a deflection in the end zone, and it is caught by Nebraska. This one intercepted by North Carolina. Now, trying to get it to Mal Lawyer, and Dre Bly comes up with his 14th interception in just his second year. Streeter has great protection as Carolina drops seven in the secondary. There's the play by Omar Brown, knocking it over to his teammate. And Carolina's going to come out of Death Valley with a win for the first time in a long time, Brent. First time since 1980.